talk about it, right? So, um, the God damn, I'm looking at the monitor. Look at my forehead. Holy shit, that thing's shiny. Whew. Look at the light glisten off of it. That's something else. Uh, <laughs> it's hot outside. <laughs> I was just out there for a while. Um, so anyways, uh, all right. So every every afternoon, me and Abby go for a walk, right? And uh, and we're walking, and we bring our fucking dog. Now, granted, I'm going to say this. I'm going to preface this whole thing with our dog is not an easy dog to walk. She is a bad, bad dog to walk. She just, you put the leash on her, and she just instantly pulls it as tight as it'll go. And then she she just fucking like crawls like she's pulling you up a a fucking wall. You know, she's like gets really low to the ground and just like fucking crawls the entire time pulling on you. Her ass cheeks are so tight and muscular from her <laughs> trying to yank you down the road. And um and she doesn't sit there and do that thing where it's like loose and then she like pulls and goes every which way. She is just forward taunt the entire time just <laughs> crawling across the ground and uh not not a great dog to walk <laughs> but uh so every day we're walking this fucking dog and we come across other people that are walking their dogs and everybody is the same everybody goes oh you have a dog well i also have a dog and it looks like they're both very excited to see each other so to keep this from being an issue I'm going to stay on my side of the road really far away and you will go on your side of the road and we'll quickly pass each other. Right. And, uh, and that way the, the tension is over quicker. Right. And, uh, and that works for 99.9% of all humans on this fucking planet that own dogs, except for the coalition of fucking old senile fucking idiots. I keep wanting to use the R word. Apparently that's not politically correct anymore. I can't say that. And, um, and these fucking guys, they're at the same place every time they're at this dog park and they're out there with their bad back. And they're like, you can tell they have like a pelvic shift. You know what I'm talking about? How old guys, like they always just leaning forward doing that whole thing. And then they look at you. And you can tell there's not, they haven't had a job in 20 years. So they're just any and all cognitive thought is that's all shut down. They're basically working on vapors at this point. <laughs> they got that funeral uh, bill paid off. They're just waiting to go in the dirt and they have this fucking Pomeranian. They all have like little annoying lap dogs, every single one of them. And they are just, <laughs> they're just out there wandering around. They, there's no aim. There's no purpose. They're not out there to have the dog use the bathroom. They're just like, I'm alive. So I'm going to go out and, and just sit in the sun and they'll just stand there just doing nothing really. And, um, and as we walk by every fucking time, they, it like the movement of our dog catches their eye and they, and they're always near the road. They're at a park, but they're near the road because, you know, their prostate's failing. They might have to pee, so they, they need to be able to scurry back into their home really quick. You know, they're not going to go way out into the park. They're going to sit right there at the periphery, ready to run home at a moment's notice. Uh, oh, I forgot my forgot my pills. Oh, and they run back. These fucking guys, they see our dog, and then they just, it's like a deer in the headlights. They stop what they're doing. If they're walking towards us, they stop what they're doing. And they just hold on tightly like this. You see their hands shaking because they got fucking Parkinson's and shit. <laughs> their hands shaking at their leash. And their dog weighs like three pounds. Every single one of these guys has a lap dog. They're, they don't weigh anything. You could hold on to that dog with anything. Really, you could just lay the leash on the ground and the weight of the leash will keep that dog in place. And the dog is scared of my dog anyway. It's not like it's going to run over there to mine. And like, we are visibly having trouble. Like, we're like, yo, Gwen, stop. <laughs> it's Gwen. They're like, because Gwen is just trying to yank her way over there. And I'm like, Gwen, come on. And so we just like drag her. And they make, they, it doubles the length 
of time that our dog is being fucking insane. You know what I mean? Like if you're walking this way, you know, like two cars going down the interstate in opposite directions, when they have a head on collision, if they're both going 60 miles per hour, they technically hit each other going 120. Isn't that right? Like 120 miles per hour with a force and that the equivalent or am I, am I, is my physics off? <laughs> Point is, is that like when two people are walking dogs and they see that dogs are agitated, they just go really quick by each other. The time is halved that the dogs are exposed to each other. But when one of these fucking people is this fucking old guy with a Pomeranian and he just sits there like a deer in the headlights going shaking, he, he just stands there. And so then we have to fight our dog all the way by him. They do that every fucking time. They see anything beyond the scope of their fucking Peanuts comic in the, in the Sunday paper, uh, Maury Povich on TV, or their uh, prostate pill. If anything is outside of those three areas of expertise that they've been doing for the past 38 years since they retired, all brain function shuts down. Now, you're going to call me an ageist person, right? And, uh, and I am going to take that and wear that proudly. <laughs> fucking old people, they, I have never been frustrated and frustrated more than with fucking old people. Now, there's some old people out there that are fucking cool because they've, they've lived their lives, right? And they, they've collected stories and experiences and they're willing to pass those down. Uh, and they, they've, they've been uh, well-rounded by a life an interesting life, but just like regular people, the overwhelming majority of regular people are almost fucking just brain dead. And so when they get older, they get even more brain dead. They should have been in the dirt 28 years ago. These people should not get old, but then there's people that like, they do get old and they're cool, you know, but these guys with their little Pomeranians, they ain't those fucking people. (laughs) Not at all. (laughs) 